Welcome to my first episode of the Asana series. In this episode, we're going to be discussing a brief overview of Asana, why you should use it, and just give you a general overlay of the screens. So here we are in the task view of Asana. When you first open up Asana after you have signed up for it, you will see that you are given a task screen. Now, this is the basic view of where you can add tasks to Asana and where you can look at the calendar view and you can look at any files that you have attached to uh, your Asana. Now, up here to the right is um, your user profile area. You also have the upgrade button because Asana is free, but it's limited in some of its uses. So if you want to have some of the pro uses, uh, you can always click here for upgrade and upgrade your subscription. Right here in this area here, you'll see the help section, which gives you any kind of uh, ideas on how to quickly start Asana if you're new to Asana and wanting to learn how to use Asana. You'll also have help with features, which will give you a general, pretty much a FAQ on what you might want to learn in Asana if you have any questions. In apps and integrations, it'll show you any apps out there that integrate very well with Asana. Ways to use Asana, keyboard shortcuts, and of course, contact support. Now, in this area here is, like I say, the task area. You can also click down here on the down arrow and you'll get a sync to calendar, add tasks via email, export to CSV, and you can also print your tasks. If you want to add a task, all you do is hit add and start writing. Over here in this overview here, you have uh, what you can describe your task. If you need more information about your task, you can also put any comments in here on this task. It'll also give you a time and date stamp. Well, actually a time stamp here. And if you hover over the time, it'll give you the date that this uh, was created, as well as anything that you add to this task. It's going to keep up with um, giving you an idea of who created the task and what have you. Up here, you also have due dates. You have whether or not you want to like this or not, whether or not you want to add a tag, a subtask, a attachment, and then here you have more tasks that you can add. And that is basically how you add a task. So let's get out of there. Now, of course, if you're done with the task, all you have to do is click on this and it is gone. And if you see down here, you see that this task has been completed and you have an option of undoing it down here in the bottom left. Also, you have a change view button here. If you click on that, you can change your view to completed tasks or all tasks, or you can sort as well. Over here, you have a plus button here. If you click on this plus button, you can get to task, conversation, projects, and invites. Now, if you watch my other episode on Asana, you will have understood that Asana is very good for group ideas or group collaborations on a project. So you can always invite somebody to your project or what have you or have conversations with other people about your projects. Now, you also have the dashboard. And the dashboard can, uh, if you want to have Asana start up with the dashboard, you can. And the dashboard is basically, um, you know, you can put your like favorite uh, tasks or favorite projects you're working on at the time being. So it's just a quick, easy way to get to it. However, I don't very rarely use, or I should say I very rarely use 
uh, this dashboard but it is an option if you want to you can also click on this down button here you got project summary print notifications and such for most of my projects I always access them over here on the left column over here you also have the inbox in the inbox you can see any notifications and such right here in the my tasks is basically where we were at earlier over here to the left column here you can see anything that you might have favorited as far as your project so let's say you have a long list of projects but you favorited one of them because you really need to work on it before anything else you could always uh, favorite that item by just clicking on the little hamburger sign here the little three dots and go ahead and click on add to favorites once you do that now that project is up here in your my favorites down here in reports uh, is a useful area if you want to see who has uh, created any or I have created any tasks here uh, any that has been assigned to others and recently completed tasks and you just access that by the little arrow there okay also here is me I don't have anybody else ha that I have um, invited to this project but if you wanted to you could always click on the invite people you also have a plus sign here which you can also add people by clicking on the plus sign team conversations is any conversations that are all located on a subject or a project you can find them under team conversations or you can find them under the individual projects as well team calendar will put all of the projects into one calendar let's say uh, John is working on this one Joey's working on this Melissa's working on this one well you're all having uh you know you need to know who's working on what you can just click on the team calendar here and when you go to the team calendar it'll show you what you have uh coming up and who's working on what and this and that okay now here is where all the the cool stuff happens is under projects now when you create a project by clicking on the create button here you'll have an option of creating it as a list or a board whether or not you want it public or private you can name it or use a template as you see here in my projects here which are color coded I have different boards that I'm using for my content scheduling so that is a general overview of Asana. So thank you for watching this general overview of Asana. If you like this video and want to see more other videos, please be sure to click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel. In upcoming episodes, we're going to be going over a little bit more detail in Asana, focusing on certain aspects of Asana and giving you more detailed explanation of what each area is. So stay tuned. Thank you.